Creepy Stalker, written by Creep Stories. So when I was about 12 me my mum and my big brother moved into a house that was about 20 miles away from the nearest town. Seeing that my mum did not have a car at the time and my brother was not old enough to drive that meant I would have to take a taxi to school every day. But when my mum went looking for taxis to take me to school, they all came out with lame excuses like, oh no, that's way too far for me to drive, or I cannot am busy every day. But finally after hours of looking online, she found this one guy who was willing to me to and from school every day at an extremely low price. So a couple of months had passed and I was just getting ready for bed exited maths which I had first lesson, so I hopped into bed, oh, and by the way my bed was facing the window as I liked it, because it helped me sleep for some reason like it always had my mother would say. It was a normal morning I had got up brushed my teeth had a shower, and then would play on my phone for a couple of minutes, waiting to hear the taxi to pull up as it did, but before I could get onto my feet, there was a large man about 6 feet 7 stood at my door. I'm pretty sure that I nearly fainted in horror when I heard his banging, just to find out that it was my taxi driver. He did the same when I arrived home as well which was strange for him because he was a very quiet man who would never say hi or bye, and I was fine with that because I'm pretty shy myself. I was about to slam the door behind me just to make sure it shut properly when I saw this taxi driver's foot kick the door back open and his deep voice say is your mother in yes, I replied in shock and shouted her from the room opposite to the room she was sat in with my brother. I was sat in my bedroom whilst they spoke, so all I could hear was my mother's trembling voice like she was nearly screaming in fear and the big taxi drive's deep voice. We moved out a week later my mother never told me why or what they spoke about until a few days ago when I asked her, and she said the taxi driver had arrived 10 minutes early, and claimed he had seen a small man about 5 ft9 with a knife clearly down his sleeve, and a camera held firmly in his hand. Next to plastic bags swinging off of a strap on his chest, the taxi driver did try catch him, but ended up grabbing the bag and ripping it off of the man's chest. He said it was full of pictures of me and my mum, they never found the guy, but gladly I had to get my coat when the taxi driver pulled up, or I would have witnessed this all, and probably would have been scarred for life. So to the guy who took pictures of me and my mum let's not meet again. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video hit that like button, to support my work. And as always enjoy the fear my dear.